Howdy folks and welcome back to another Ugly Dog Challenge. Tonight we'll be doing the Larry Challenge. And Larry wanted a deep diving bait and said paint it like you want it. So I'm going to paint it like I want it. So we're going to start with a Createx uh, bright yellow on this bait. So let's give her a good shake up here. Get us a few drops in here. We're going to do the belly on this bait. Yellow. Bright yellow. So there's our bright yellow belly. Set that off over there for a second. We'll heat set this bait and then we'll move on. So uh, let's uh, clean our airbrush out right quick. Okay, so now we're just going to start laying several different colors up into this bait. Uh, let me set that off over here to the side. We don't need that no more. So uh, We're going to start with a pearl plum. Well, you know what, I think we'll start with the Createx Wicked Color Fastback Green is what we'll get started with here. And we'll see if it'll spray it through the detail brush without thinning it, but maybe, maybe not. And we'll start just laying it in here wherever we want to put it. So y'all probably don't think I lost my mind. But believe me, I have a plan here, folks. And you'll like the plan when it's done. Okay, look at there. We got us some uh, Blue laid up in there. Now, so we'll heat set that. Come back here. Okay. Let's get us a little bit out here and we'll thin it down a little bit and we'll just start putting it on there. finger test that's running just it to blow through our little detail gun I don't know if we can or not if we can't we'll swap guns because I know it'll blow through the other gun So 
Or are y'all saying it yet? That old man's done lost his mind? I am. I am. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> trying to blind me folks. That's a, actually looking pretty decent in the little world that I come out of. So I don't know about the rest of you, but we still got a ways to go before we finish this bait up. You'll see the bait start changing drastically here shortly. So let's clean our brush. And our next color is going to be a, a glossy black. And I'm just going to do a little bit of spritzing on the top side of this bait with that because it's going to get another color over it. So, I don't want very much of that. That's about four drops right there. Now we're going to use some Createx green. Baby, you have that green right there. And I'm going to blend some green into this blue and purple. Some pearl green. And some spots in here. I don't know that I need a whole lot of it, but I do want a little bit to kind of show up in there. Kind of over that black and down that back is really where I wanted it more. I 
I was kind of using those other two colors, the purple and the blue, just kind of as a base. And I wanted to put the green over the little bit of a light black on there. So that's what I did. Well, kind of what I'm doing here is a new version of the pat patchwork perch. So it's been a really long week, folks. I think she's pretty dry there. Feels pretty dry there. So off to the next step in this adventure we're on today. Which is going to be the wrap. So you take my scissors again there, woman. Well you threw the other pair away. You can't blame me for losing them. Yeah, I can. Some things wouldn't cut hot butter, huh? So. Now we're going to get us a good tight wrap on this bait. And we're going to start spraying some more colors onto this bait. Well, you folks remember to tune in Saturday night and we'll be doing the drawing for the uh, St. Patrick's Day Challenge. I thought that was supposed to be tonight. Oh, Saturday night. So that was pretty fun little challenge to do. So we enjoyed it anyway. Yeah, we did. I have to count up all the votes. There were lots of votes. Quite a few. And all for you. I doubt that. Okay. So we got our wrap on. And now we're going to go and start painting on our sepia. our sepia up good. I like this detail sepia quite a bit it really changes things up. And it's going to take several, several coats. So. get where we want to be with this bait. Well, we don't have nothing but time, folks. So. getting there. Slowly but surely ain't seen a bit more I want to do, folks. Okay, we're going to call it quits right there. Oh, 
the clips off and uh, see what we got under here. Dang, Melissa, you put a lot of clips on there. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's crazy. I hope Mr. Larry likes this. I'm sure he will. You can see even the belly has got spots. Well, we're past that little stage of our paint, folks. Uh, I'm not throwing that away. I'll use it again. So, that's looking very, very cool. You can see where the green and the purple, purple all, and the blue, I can blue see all, all come together. And uh, that looks pretty dang good. So, our next step in this here process is we're going to pull the tape off the bill. We're going to put some eyes on him and we're going to throw some epoxy up on him. This bait <coughs> will be getting no glitter whatsoever. No glitter? What? Well, it's just a fun bait to paint and I, I enjoy painting it for Mr. Larry a lot. So. paint off of here, or the tape off of here. So I'm sticking a kind of an amber eye on here. It's between amber and red. Well folks we're to it. We're fixing epoxy this bait. I think this dude's going to take one and a half and one and a half, three total. Okay, we got our epoxy all mixed up here, folks. Let's uh, give it a good stir. Get it all blended in nice together. Okay, I think we're good to go. There you go. Oh, Larry's going to love that. Mr. Larry? There's your lure, buddy. Ugly dog style. So I'm going to get her hooked up over here, hang it up to dry. Thank you.